Have you been wondering which free video editor is right for you? Today we're going to be looking at iMovie versus DaVinci Resolve and which one might be right for you. Many people want to create videos, which means they are going to need to edit those videos. But then the question comes up, what should you use to edit those videos? And a lot of video editing software is both expensive and complicated and can be intimidating to a lot of people. Even if it's not intimidating, the price itself can really be a deterrent and that can stop you from creating. And what we want to do is remove the barriers to you creating the thing that matters to you. So today we're talking about free video editors, iMovie and DaVinci Resolve. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Learning curve in video editing is a real thing and it's something that I'm still on. If you've been watching for a while, you've seen that my videos have progressively gotten a little bit better. Part of that is learning things about lighting and getting different cameras and learning things about audio and there's still a long way to go before my videos are perfect. But a lot of that also has to do with editing. And there is a learning curve to editing and it's a curve that I'm still on. I'm still learning more about motion graphics and how to do color grading and all of those types of things. And if that sounds confusing to you, don't worry. You just need to start somewhere. And either of these free editors will help you get started. And the best part is because they're free, you won't have the added anxiety of expending a lot of money on something that you then have to learn how to use. So iMovie and DaVinci Resolve are probably the best known free editors, at least since Windows Movie Maker went the way of all the earth. But which of these free video editors is right for you? Well, we can start with a simple question. And that question is, what platform are you going to be editing on? Because that will be the first thing to determine which of these you can use. For example, if you're editing on a PC, well, then DaVinci Resolve is the program for you because iMovie is an Apple-only program and you can't use it on a PC. So you're going to need to go with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve will be a little bit more complicated than iMovie, but you'll be able to do fine using it. Alternatively, if you're on an iPad, the answer is iMovie because DaVinci Resolve doesn't have an iPad app. So you're going to have to use iMovie because Apple makes it for the iPad. And so that's the free editor on iPad. There is a great program on iPad called LumaFusion but it does have some cost to it. It's not a huge cost, but it's not free. So you can watch some other of my videos to learn more about that if you're interested in getting an app that comes at a small fee. If you're on Mac, you can use either DaVinci Resolve or iMovie and both for free. So that's the big question. So go ahead, drop in the comments, let me know which device you're going to be using to edit videos on. So let's ask ourselves another question then. Are you a brand new beginner or have you done some editing before and you just need a free program to do it in now? Maybe you use Premiere Pro or Final Cut back in school or in a previous job, but you don't have those programs anymore so you need something else. That's really the question. If you're a beginner and you're on Mac, then I would really recommend that you start with iMovie. iMovie is a really simple program. Apple makes it easy to get your feet wet in the world of video editing, but it also has some advanced features. Whereas DaVinci Resolve is a much more professional level application, which makes it more powerful, but that of course comes at a learning curve cost. And so there is more of a learning curve to DaVinci Resolve. Although if in DaVinci Resolve you stick just to the edit tab, because there are the tabs along the bottom, if you stick just to the edit tab, it will be pretty similar to what you have available to you in iMovie. So beginners go with iMovie. Those of you who have some experience, go with DaVinci Resolve because DaVinci Resolve will have the things that you need. DaVinci Resolve is a fully functional, fully professional video editing application that Blackmagic gives away for free to you. Now there's a paid version as well, but that is for studios. That is for large scale productions. It's not freeware where it's like, you'll constantly be getting ads to upgrade or there'll be a bunch of features, but when you click on them, it will be like, you need the full version for this. That's not going to happen in DaVinci Resolve. It is fully functional, ready for you to go. And this has amazing things like color grading and a full motion graphics application built in inside of Fusion and a full audio suite built in inside of Fairlight. So it can do whatever you've done before, be that in Premiere or Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve can probably do it on the free version. So if you're kind of already comfortable, go ahead, dive in, go with DaVinci Resolve. So there you have it. It's a quick video to help you decide which of these free video editors is right for you. Now, just so you know what I do is when I'm on my Mac, I'm using DaVinci Resolve basically all the time. 
that's the one that I use. And it can do everything that I need it to do. I love that it's free. I love that it's powerful. So I use that when I'm on my iMac. But I also do a lot of my editing on iPad. And for that, I switched over to LumaFusion. Now I used to use iMovie on the iPad. Also used to use iMovie on the Mac as well back in the day. But now on the iPad, I've switched over to LumaFusion. It just comes at a small fee. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks. And it just provides me with a lot more options than iMovie does. So it's a little bit more professional in that way. So I can get more of the results that I need from it. But iMovie is a great option on the iPad. But that's what I use. DaVinci Resolve for free, LumaFusion for a small fee on the iPad. And that's how I do all of my video editing for this channel, for the travel channel, and for my courses. I do all of that inside of those programs. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and drop in the comments and let me know which of these programs you've used before or are planning on using now and what kinds of videos you're planning to edit with them. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.